Hey everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that EU Action Mobile video today. And you can see a really humid ear canal straight off here. <clears throat> we'll pop the suction tube in. That's going to clear some of the humidity, but you can also see we've got this uh, very sticky type wax coming through. Now we're seeing a few more kind of stickier and some sludgier waxes coming through at the moment. I think people are using a little bit more uh, sort of over the counter remedies to try and clear wax out. Now sometimes those can be really effective. Other times it just turns the wax to a little bit of a mush. Uh, a lot of the time it depends on where that wax plug is in the ear canal. If it's very deep uh, or it's a very large plug then drops are really not going to cut it a lot of the time. They're good for preparing you for coming along for something like this uh, but they don't always get rid of it. But what we can see here is we've got this um, it's it's a really difficult consistency to describe. It's kind of almost like a clay wax, but just a little bit softer. Uh, and we've got a good grip on the outside edge here. You can see I'm just wiggling this uh, around, just trying to clear this. We've basically got this central plug in here that's not really wanting to come out very easily. Now, usually the reason for that is it's a little bit longer or there might be a little bit of dry skin mixed in with it. And as you're trying to negotiate the two bends in the ear canal, you're kind of bending it and wiggling it back and forth, but it doesn't always kind of wiggle around the corners very well. So I'm just using the suction tube here just to tease this down the canal. There you can see it really does not want to budge, but we're just starting to get that little bit of movement. It's just starting to come out of the canal. We've had to drop the endoscope now a bit further back to accommodate this coming out of the ear, which is why you can see the little cilia. Is it going to get stuck? Is it going to come out in one piece? Let's give this a little bit more of what you can see. We're wiggling out. Wiggling our socks off you. Almost turbo wiggling, guys, we are at the moment. Um, so this is coming away really nicely. There we go. You can really see that plug starting to work its way out now. now. You can see we've got a lot of movement to the front end, but that back end is still just inside the ear canal. Not a tremendous amount of movement there. Now, why is that? But you can see here, we've got this strip of dead skin that's run behind it. So we're just going to jump on that now with the crocodile forceps. Let's start to pull this away. There we are, look at that coming away there, guys. You can see just how long that piece was. We'll drop, you can see I've had to drop right the way back uh, with the endoscope to be able to show you what that looks like. There we go. So let's show you what that looks like. You can see that whole thing there. So we were seeing how long that plug was. That was a fair old length, that one. Uh, eardrum there. Now, the eardrum doesn't look particularly healthy, but it's nothing to be concerned about. That looks like a lot of scar tissue to me. You can see that sort of really milky appearance to the eardrum when we look back in there. That's usually uh, an indication that our patients either had a lot of infections, a lot of perforations, probably some operations on their ears as well. Um, so this is sort of past trauma, really. This is this is old scar tissue rather than it being anything uh, anything new when we need to worry about it at the moment. You'll get a good look at that in a second. I'm just giving it a little bit of a tidy up around the outside edge. There we are. You can see what I mean about it looking quite milky. So this is where uh, what it looked like beforehand and uh, we're on to the second ear canal here. So you can see with this one it's very, very similar to the other side. There's sort of quite a large plug here, just on the outer part of the ear canal. So we're just going to get rid of some of this softer stuff at, at the entrance here. I know a couple of people in the comments section always ask me sort of, you know, why don't you tidy up the outer part first? Surely it's got to make it easier when you're going past. If the wax was very sticky, like this one is, and you've got some very sticky wax on the outer part of the ear canal, yeah, it's worth tidying up that out a bit first. Only because as you draw the wax over that front section, it's going to try and stick back to that little bit of wax at the front end. If we had, say, a particularly hard piece of wax, then I probably wouldn't. I probably would say, well, let's just take it over the top and we'll tidy that bit up after. Now what we have here, which we're just pulling away now with the crocodile forceps, is a really tough old piece of wax, but it's also got a lot of skin just underneath. Now that's why I'm using the forceps. I know it looks like they're not being particularly effective at the moment, but in some ways they are. They're getting rid of that little bit of skin because what we're trying to do is draw this plug over that piece of skin. You can see it just coming away there. But when we were using the suction, what was happening is as we were going down for the suction grip, the skin that's a little bit looser will naturally want to fold in front of the suction. And when it does that, it blocks you getting to the, the wax behind. So that you can see what I'm concentrating on here is getting rid of all those skin layers. Let's just get, get gone. Let's get rid of those. Um, you can see as I'm pulling this forward, can you see that layer around the outside edge that's pulling forward with it? So we're going to drop back in there with the forceps. Let's see if we can get rid of that layer. There we go. It's just starting to pull forwards. So what I want you to imagine is going on in this ear canal now is this central kind of 
plug of wax surrounded by these layers like the skin of an onion of skin around the outside edge of it. So it's kind of a bit like, a, it's, a, it's a tough old job for suction. So we're just going in now with the Jobson. You can see just how hard this is. As I'm pulling this, we expected that central plug to come out, but what's happening is it almost rolls down the ear canal. So we've got this little bit of skin on the outside there. Just get the crocodile forceps on those as well. There you go. Now look at that piece of skin coming away there. So it's coming away really, really well. Look at that, guys. That is huge. <laughs> That's a big one. Um, that was massive. You can see why it didn't want to come out with suction. It just looked at the suction and you went, I'm not coming out with that, you're on a laugh. But there you go in this set, you can see it was pretty solid. And look at that. The whole thing almost came out in one big piece. So we're just gonna tidy up around the outside edge, a little bit of hoovering up um, uh, around the outside edge. There you go, just get rid of these little pieces, go around the outside edge there, there we go. So it's tidy up all around the, all around the, uh, the little laptop. <laughs> I record these videos early in the morning, I come in early to do these games before my clinic, which means I've only probably about, about half a cup of tea, so my mouth isn't quite engaged properly yet, but bear with me on these videos. Um, so we're just getting this one out, you can see this little straggly little bit of skin in there. Uh, it just doesn't really want to come away. We'll drop down to a fine end. Let's just lift this guy up. Let's get rid of him. There you go. Uh, you can see the eardrum on this side. Lots of scar tissue there as well. So this is what it looked like to start with. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Wow, look at that. Six and a half centimeters worth of wax plugs there guys that is huge you can see there is so much of it there don't forget guys we're posting new videos every monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday uh, uh in october at 9 p.m uk time as always guys take care of yourselves take care of your ears and take care of one another and i'll see you again real soon bye everyone